Recently, a new unprecedented discovery near the Big Bang has created a debate in the field of astronomy. In a new study, scientists have found that the flow of time in the early universe was slow, and they say that everything we have discovered in the early universe appears to be happening in slow motion. This has stunned astronomers and physicists around the world. Many scientists are claiming that this discovery can solve the biggest questions and mysteries of our universe. Astrophysicist Gary Lewis, of the University of Sydney in Australia, and statistician Brendan Brewer of the University of Auckland just revealed that, looking back to a time when the universe was just over a billion years old, we see time appearing to flow five times slower. Well, this discovery has also brought a few decades old hypotheses into possibility. As this discovery suggests that time slowed down in the early universe, it appears to be a similar phenomenon to the slowing down of time near black holes. So, is the Big Bang a supermassive black hole? Are we inside a black hole? Well, fasten on your seatbelts as we dive deep into this unprecedented discovery, we'll find out what really happened in the early universe that affected the flow of time. So far the James Webb Telescope has completely changed our view of the universe with its unexpected discoveries in the early universe. From the discovery of early galaxies to early black holes and other early celestial objects, it never fails to surprise us. In a recent observation, the Webb Telescope has captured some of the earliest quasars in our universe that were evolving in the dark of the early universe. But when astronomers compared those quasars with the quasars near us, they found something strange. Quasars are among the brightest objects in the universe, and can outshine entire galaxies. They are found billions of light years away, and provide valuable insights into the early universe and galaxy formation. It is powered by a supermassive black hole at the center of a galaxy. The black hole pulls in surrounding matter, creating an accretion disk that emits intense radiation across various wavelengths. Professor Lewis and his collaborator, Dr. Brendan Brewer from the University of Auckland, studied a sample of 190 quasars, from between 2.45 and 12.17 billion years ago, with data across a range of wavelengths taken over a time period of two decades. Combining the observations taken at different colors or wavelengths, green light, red light and into the infrared, they were able to standardize the ticking of each quasar. They had around 200 observations for each quasar, allowing detailed reconstructions of their fluctuations. With all this data, when they compared all the quasars, they found that the distant quasars are ticking at a slower speed than the quasars in the nearby galaxies. For the first time, scientists saw the early universe moving extremely slowly, so what's really happening here? Why was time slow in the early universe? Well, the answer to this question lies in a prediction by Albert Einstein. With this discovery, the idea of an expanding universe was again proved correct. Our universe as we know it started expanding after the Big Bang, and has been expanding ever since. Moreover, it is not only expanding but also accelerating. As the expansion is accelerating, the early universe is expanding at a different rate than our current universe, and according to Einstein's general theory of relativity, when one object moves through space relatively faster than another, the passage of time is different for each object. Therefore, when we look at the early universe, we will see that the flow of time is slow in the early universe. This effect is called the Doppler effect, and it can be experienced here on Earth too. Think of the way an ambulance siren sound seems to stretch out as the ambulance drives away from you. In this analogy, the ambulance becomes a distant galaxy, and the light is the siren. At the source the emission is normal, but from our perspective, it becomes all stretched out. Something similar should and does happen to time, if you were there, in this infant universe, one second would seem like one second, but from our position, more than 12 billion years into the future, that early time appears to drag. These results further confirm Einstein's picture of an expanding universe, but contrast earlier studies that had failed to identify the time dilation of distant quasars. Previously, astronomers have confirmed this slow-motion universe back to about half the age of the universe using supernova, massive exploding stars, 
as standard clocks. But we can't study the nature of time in the early universe as supernova are exceedingly bright, and they are difficult to observe at immense distances. Fortunately, distant quasars make this observation possible, but earlier observations of distant quasars did not show any effect of time dilation in the early universe. Professor Lewis said, these earlier studies led people to question whether quasars are truly cosmological objects, or even if the idea of expanding space is correct. But earlier the samples of quasar were small, and observed over a much shorter time period. By dramatically expanding both the number of quasars, and the duration of observations, the two researchers found that they do appear to flicker in slow motion, compared to more recent quasars. Professor Lewis said with these new data and analysis however, we've been able to find the elusive tick of the quasars, and they behave just as Einstein's relativity predicts. By observing quasars, this time horizon has been rolled back to just a tenth the age of the universe, confirming that the universe appears to speed up as it ages. In the first billion years of our universe's existence, time passed five times slower than it does today, it indicates that when astronomers observe the distant universe, they are not just looking back in time to when it was younger, they're also looking at it move in slow motion. But this discovery also brought back the decades-old hypothesis of a black hole universe. As we know, time runs slowly even near black holes, so many scientists believe that the slow motion of time in the early universe can also be explained using the hypothesis of a black hole universe. Most experts agree that the universe started as an infinitely hot and dense point called a singularity. Wait a minute. Isn't that what people call black holes? It is in fact, and some physicists say they could be one and the same. The singularity in every black hole might give birth to a baby universe. There's no reason to think our universe is any different. In conclusion, the remarkable discovery that time ran five times slower in the early universe compared to the current universe has opened up a gateway to unraveling numerous mysteries that have puzzled scientists for decades. In the coming years, as researchers delve deeper into this phenomenon, we can anticipate a cascade of new findings, refined theories, and groundbreaking experiments that will reshape our understanding of the cosmos. The mysteries that have long eluded us may finally be within our grasp, thanks to the discovery that time runs five times slower in the early universe. Exciting times lie ahead, as we embark on this thrilling journey of exploration and revelation. This video ends here. Thank you for your time, and don't forget like share and subscribe to our channel. Have a good day.